Um, so, um, guys, in light of, uh, my grandmother's passing yesterday, uh, I decided we should gather for, you know, a fun game night to, to do some interesting stuff. I found this game in the Oh in my the god, Chris, can you stop f***ing clapping? His grandmother just died. Jessica, you bitch, you know Chris is handicapped, he can't help it. <laughs> have we finished making our remarks? I would be pleased to have Jessica muted. <laughs> I'd love to gamble away your items on Oryx Jackpot. Silence at once! Thank you. We will today be playing a game called Rodham G Trivial Pursuit. Very original. Oh, my guess. It's, it's Rodham G, but it's Trivial Pursuit. Wow, he really is the sharpest tool in the shed. We're gonna have this four way, four players, including me, right? I'm the game master, and I have the leadership ability to lead you all into success and Oh my rich. god, just cut the crap. Okay, so we'll be joined by... <laughs> Jessica. Not Chris, he's out golfing in his place, Mark. <laughs> And Brian, but I'm not sure if he's with us. Are you with us, Brian? He has internet issues. Uh, yeah, guys, I'm uh, I'm here as always. Yeah, Brian also has some microphone issues. Uh, no, please, please, not today. <laughs> and some daddy <laughs> issues. Okay, let's let's get going now. Now let's commence with the rules. You might know Trivial Pursuit. You have six colors, and you answer questions under each category. With Rod and G Trivial Pursuit, it's pretty much the same. Each category corresponds to a color. We have Geography, which is blue. Entertainment is pink. History is yellow. Arts and Literature is purple. Science and Nature is green. And Sports is orange. You will each take turns throwing a dice. The number on the dice will determine the color. We will not play with a board because we're not gonna be bored when we're playing this game. <laughs> oh my god, you're so lame. Oh, you're such a bitch, Jessica. Alright. Since there won't be a board, there's no way to reach the wild card of this game, the hub. Oh, that would be a lie. If you get a color and you can't answer the question, you will have one chance of throwing the dice. If you hit a 106, you get to enter the hub. This means that you get to choose this round's question for you in another category, giving you another chance. Now you each have a playing plate, which consists of six colors. When you answer a question correctly, you can position the category color of the question you answered correctly on one of the other players' playing board. If you fill up another player's inventory, they are out of the game. Simple, this means that grouping up is allowed. But there's another rule. For instance, if you answer a yellow question correctly and there's no yellow plates to fill, you get to remove one of the colors on your playing board. If there's no colors to remove, you're just good and the game continues. I think that should be the rules. I, I, are you guys in or do you have any questions? Hey, am I allowed to cheat? Jesus Christ, I never should have done this. Oh, God. Uh, so Sorry, my net was down. I, I, I didn't get that. Could, could you repeat it? Okay, guys, you seem totally set, so uh, let's get on with it. I'll just demonstrate quickly a first round. Now, we're going to go counterclockwise from me. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Okay. All right. So what are we gonna get? We're gonna get an arts and literature. Okay. What is a Sandman convention? Oh my god, I know this. Oh, oh I know the answer to this question. Oh my god, that's common knowledge. Why don't you know that? It's... Wow, this game's so easy. Oh, large group of desert enemies? Woo! Not that you should be eating more, Jessica, but here's a piece of this pie. Alright, sorry. So th th that was an example of the first round. Let's get going, okay? So now it's Jessica. Hmm, I'm gonna get a six. What? A one? Where are the mountains located in the realm? Oh my god, I know this question. Ah, uh, no I don't. I don't know. The middle? <laughs> I totally knew that. N not that you should be eating more raft, but All right, fair, a fair, I get pie. it, yeah. Okay, uh, next up is Smog. Fair and square, what are we looking at? A three for history, right? Okay, so what's this question? Where did Rodham G position in the assembly competition back in 2010? Uh, what? How the heck am I supposed to know that? I, I, I don't know, give me a clue or something. Okay, um, Rodham G was created as part of a contest. Name their ending position out of ten. Ah, oh, shit, man. I'm sorry, but that's incorrect. They ended up as number three with 6.2% of the votes. Bitworld actually won that category, but the game never really took off despite its game-breaking 3D gameplay. I'm wondering, Raft, what are you compensating for? Brian? Hello? Yeah, it's you. Okay, I have uh, number five, Science and Nature. Name the object type of the Dragon Buddies. First up, what is the Dragon Buddies? What is an object type? I, 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 I don't know, man. I don't know. This game kind of sus, to be honest. No, it's just that the game needs some way to separate items from each other, which is the object ID. It's a hexadecimal. Move on, just get good. Who cares? Okay. What the fuck? I don't even know what an hexadecimal is. Okay, I'm just gonna say something random. How about uh, 0x6b5? D does that s suffice? Oh my god, that's correct. And good job, Brian. I'm giving my number to uh, Jessica. What? 
You just said random numbers. How are you gonna give him a point for that? Move on, just get good. Who cares? Okay, I'm next question. Come on. Okay, number six. Uh, orange. Spolts. Who is the number one on the leaderboard right now? Oh my god. These questions are ridiculous. Okay, uh, I'll use my lifeline. Two? Okay, entertainment. Pink. That's not too too bad. Who is the Rod MG YouTuber with the most views? Oh my god. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think I'll go with the largest Rod MG YouTuber, uh, BikuriBox12 or Talwa. No? It, it, it's incorrect? What? <laughs> what? Why is the correct answer Markiplier? The f it doesn't make any sense. He played it for one video. Does that qualify or what? Okay, this game is... This game is good. Next is... Yeah, Jessica. Oh my God. Okay, um, number three, yellow history. Name at least three dungeon name changes. Um, oh, oh, I know this one. Uh, Parasite Den to Parasite Chambers. Epic Spider Den to Crawling Depths. And Oryx Lair to Oryx Chamber. I'm sorry, Jessica, but that's incorrect. It's Oryx Chambers. Shut up and give me the point already. Mark, here you go. All right, I got a one. Geography. Which environment is the richest in oil? Which environment is the richest in oil? Oh my god, wait, wait. The desert. Money. Saudi Arabia. God. <laughs> Come on. It was a trick question. You you did good, Mark, but it's the snake pit. You know? The, the, the snake oil. It's a trick question. Bullshit. <laughs> it, it's a funny game, you know. Okay, arts. Uh, who made this art piece? I can tell it's named Louis, but... Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, uh, give, give me another question. I'll use my lifeline. Four again? Okay, this one should be easier. Um, That's... um Saturn 51. Saturn 51, right? Yup, that's correct. Pretty famous on Reddit for doing his artwork. He's done several of different bosses of Realm of the Mad God. Thanks, Rath, but I don't care. Here's your piece. Okay, guys, I seriously have to take a shit, so we gotta move on. Uh, this next question is a special question, because I'm the Game Master and I decide that. Uh, I got a six. Sports Orange. I uh, need to name a speedrunning event. Okay, so there's the Abyss speedrunner event. Uh, as of recently, Abyssal Trophy would be awarded with. Andrea-san won that with uh, uh, 26 seconds, I think it was. And uh, there was the Tomb Runner event too, where you would be awarded the Jade Beetle to the entire guild that won. And that was Black Bullet in 1 minute and 19.22 seconds, right? Rust, I got you. You made a mistake. It's actually 22 milliseconds, not point. Well, I got it right. Okay, Brian and Mark, you pieces of shit. Here's your orange. Really, man? I I'm just I'm just trying to play this game and have fun and you're just ruining- Oh my f***ing god, that can't be- oh my I can't honestly tell if he just died for the fifth time or he's just very introverted. Jessica, go ahead, I don't want to play this game anymore. Okay, uh, history. What was the first dungeons developed in Rodham G? Uh, wasn't it something- it, it was the pirate cave and this other dungeon, the Undead Lair, right? Whoa, I'm surprised you knew that. 4th February 2010 in build 74. Yes, that was the first two dungeons. Thank you, but no thank you. Here's your piece. Well, at least Mog is on my side, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, science and nature. What's the habitat of the maggot? Oh, that's the David Jones locker. I've read about that. Uh, the maggot was an entity added in build 123.4.1 on the 3rd of August in 2012. It was originally meant to be an enemy in the David Jones locker, but now it just goes in the cursed library under the name of Vile Maggot. That, that, that was my line, Mark. I'm, I'm doing a series on that. Can you please? That's creepy. <laughs> Can't you tell, Raft? No, I haven't. Uh, Pink and Entertainment. Who's hosting a giveaway of 1,000 Realm Gold with release of this video, where you have to react on the giveaway poll on my Discord to participate? That's me. Not you. It's me, Raft, the YouTuber. Yeah. Okay, Jessica, take your piece. F off. Raft, we hate you. Here's your orange piece. And here's your pink piece. Because we are, are you, and you are us. Guys. Hello, Gu guys. Guys.